Silver Howard! A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high yo silver, the Lone Ranger. days of the western United States, outlaws roamed the range country. Along the border, many towns were ruled by criminals, and it was in this district that the masked rider of the plains did his best work. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. It was he more than any other man who brought law and order to the lawless frontier. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for the mission! Hail, Silver! Away! It was Saturday night, and the cafe at Buffalo Ridge swarmed with customers bent upon having a good time. But suddenly from outside there came the sound of clattering hoofs, loud shouts, and reckless gunfire. The crowd inside fell silent for a moment. Then... There's the Bar W outfit. Crazy fool. Shooting up the town again. They'll tear Buffalo Ridge apart. Where's the sheriff? Hey, fellas. Them local widgets are riding right in here. They're going to bring the horses inside. What do you think you're doing? Hey, they're traveling. Boys, the time makes a howl. You're under arrest. Every doggone one of you is under arrest. Now get out of them horses, hand over your gun, and come along peaceable. You hear the sheriff, boys? The sheriff allows us how he's going to jail us. What do you say to that? Sheriff, yeah, let's see you go into your dance. Play him a tune, fellas. Hey, watch out. Watch out. Almost hit me that time. Now stop it. Wait. Put down them guns. Keep on playing, boys. Sheriff, you sure can cut some capers. Lighter on your feet than I had any notion. <laughs> Yippee! Gather around and watch the sheriff dance for us. Sam, Smokey, listen, fellas. You'll wreck my place. I just got it fixed up after the last time you fellas were in town. Sam, tell him to cut it out. Oh, keep. We come to town to have our fun. The first fella tries to stop us is sure gonna wish he'd never. All right, boys, both the sheriff out in the street and line up at the bar. The night's just beginning. <laughs> It was almost a month later that the Lone Ranger, in response to an appeal sent him by the Padre, drew rein in the patio of the mission then. Oh, oh, Silver. Oh, fellow. Oh. Padre, I came as soon as I could. Is there trouble again? 
It is good to see you, amigo. Thank you, Padre. But it is true there is trouble once more. That is why I have sent for you, knowing that you would help. What is it you wish me to do? You are acquainted in Buffalo Ridge? I am. Then, but first step with me this way. There's one whom I wish you to meet. Of course. Stay here, old fellow. <coughs> Who is it, Padre? He is a man of the law. He is the sheriff at that place, Buffalo Ridge. You know him, perhaps. No, but I've heard of him. Isn't Walters his name? See. Si. What does he have to do here? He will tell you himself, amigo. But first, before you meet him, promise me one thing. Anything, Padre. I know you wouldn't ask a promise I couldn't give. It is but a little thing. The sheriff, he is not a patient man. If he should not be of a great friendliness, you will please to overlook it? If you ask it. He's waiting inside? See, si. You will go in? Yes. Senor. Hey, Padre, who's this feller? This is the caballero of whom I have spoken. Huh? This feller with the mask? See. Si. Now, look here, Padre. You said you could help me, and I said if you could, I'd wait. Now, if you think I'm asking help from any crook, then you're... One moment, Sheriff. Well? I'm not an outlaw. If you're in trouble and need help, that needn't bother you. If you ain't a crook, what's the idea of that mask? To hide my identity. Sure, just like any crook. I came here... Perdone. Amigo, I have not told the sheriff who you are, thinking it best to first gain your permission. But if you will consent... As you wish, Padre. Who is it? Senor, my friend has told you the truth. He is not an outlaw. He is one of whom you have heard often. Uh huh? The Lone Ranger. What's that? It is so. He is the Lone Ranger. Well, I'll You've be... heard of me, Sheriff? Well, who in thunder ain't? And you've probably heard enough so that you can check the Padre's word for yourself. If you look out of the window there, you'll see my horse. That white one? That's your horse? It is. And this is my gun. Examine the shells. Silver. Made of silver. Right. You must be him. Now, will you trust me? Well, I should smile. I, I'm right sorry about calling you a crook, stranger, but just the same, wearing that mask like you Never are... Never mind that. Be... The Padre has said enough to indicate that there's trouble in Buffalo Ridge. What is it? Trouble? Friend, for the last six months, I ain't had nothing but misery. And if you're doubting my word, just you listen to all that's happened. Walters described the situation in Buffalo Ridge while the Lone Ranger and the Padre listened. Later, so you decided to call in the Texas Rangers, eh? And would have, too, if the Padre hadn't asked me to wait till you got here. The Padre was right. It would have meant much trouble. But what else could I do? Sheriff, I've heard of the men who founded the Bar W outfit. If I recall correctly, there's a half a dozen of them. They were ex-soldiers who came west after the war. And built up the biggest spread in my county. Now, why in blazes couldn't they be satisfied with that without raising Ned all the time? From what you told me, they never actually stepped outside the law, however. No, they ain't. But they've sure made me the laughing stock of everybody at home. Yes? I wonder if you savvy just how it is with a lawman. What do you mean? Well, any place you go, whether it's here or back east, there ain't many lawmen compared to all the rest of the folks. Naturally not. Well, that means lawmen by themselves couldn't do a whole heap if it weren't for something else. Yes? And that's something else is the respect of the folks that elected them. Once folks gets a notion of law is no account, then things get pretty bad. It takes more than a badge and a gun to enforce law and order. You gotta have folks behind you. And the people of your county aren't? How could they be with them bar W hombres tearing Buffalo Ridge to pieces regular once a week? Now they just laugh at me. And knowing that folks laugh at the law, every crook for miles around has flocked to town like cows to water. And you can't run them out? Not without folks are on my side. And I'll tell you something, Sheriff. You could do as you first planned, appeal to the Texas Rangers. They'd clean up your county for you. Well, that's what I figured. But it wouldn't solve your problem. Your real problem is to regain the respect of the people you serve. Which same I'll never do as long as them bar W polecats keep making me look like an idiot. Exactly. Then how in the Sheriff, world... Sheriff, you... forget the Texas Rangers. Return to Buffalo Ridge. Yeah. Do that and I'll make you a promise. A promise? Your county will be cleaned up. And you'll regain the confidence of the people you serve. And the Bar W outfit will help you do it. Them say they wouldn't help nobody. Will you promise? No, wait. It's the only I... condition I make. I have a plan in mind. 
But I'll have to look over the situation before I know exactly what can be done. Well... If my plan doesn't work, then you can call in the Texas Rangers if you wish. Uh, I don't know that I got much to lose. You haven't. Then I do like you say. You going to Buffalo Ridge? I am. Uh, How soon? At once. Adios, Padre. Adios, amigo. Just a second, stranger. He has gone. You know, Padre... See? Maybe I'm a fool. Maybe I should have done like I set out to do. You must have faith in the Lone Ranger, senor. That's just it. I have. Just talking to him somehow makes you think that gent knows what he's about. But how one fella can tame Buffalo Ridge is something I can't savvy. Ranger rode to Buffalo Ridge with Tonto and made camp in a well-hidden spot outside of town. Without his mask but wearing a disguise, he gathered information throughout the district. On a Saturday night, two weeks later, he was present in the cafe when the Bar W crew arrived and... You fellas again. Now you get out of my place, you hear me? It costs every time you show up. Now, Barkey. Yeah, and you're the worst of the lot, Sam. You and Smokey there can think of more ways to raise cane than the whole rest of your bunch put together. <laughs> Is that a fact? Look there. <laughs> Look at the new mirror I had to buy. Cost me $100. Oh. Look at them tables you smashed up. And the bullet holes in the dance floor. <laughs> and the window you bust the last time you threw the sheriff out of it. <laughs> I tell you, you fellas either leave me be or I'll have to go out of business. <laughs> that bad, is it? You know doggone well it is. You hear him, boys? He don't like the way we act. Well, maybe we want to show him he ain't seen nothing yet. Well, keep, if you think we've busted up your place before, just hang around and watch us tonight. Please, fellas. Hold on, boys. <laughs> now then, barkeep, how much damage you figure we've done to your place? A plenty. What I mean is, how much does it cost you to have it fixed up? Close to $500. 500 eh? And you know it just as well as I do. Boys, we owe the barkeep 500 Empty out your pokes and settle up. We got debts, we pay them. Yeah. Just lay your cash here in a bar, fellas. There's 50. I brought along 100. Here it is. Mm, here's mine. How much is there, Barkeep? Gosh, about 300, I reckon. Well, then there's enough to make up the difference. Right? There's more than enough. Just wait till I count it and I'll pay you back the extra. Shucks, Barkeep, keep it all. What's left over, you can put on the bill we're going to run up tonight. <laughs> <laughs> all right, boys. We're square with the barkeep. Let her whoop! <laughs> Hey, you ain't going to bust up my place again, are you? Wait, listen. We paid you, didn't we? Come on, fellas, let's have ourselves a tie. Oh. Hey, but I can put out that light over there first shot. No. Oh. <laughs> you missed ten dollars, you can. Please, fellas, you'll drive everybody out. Ah, uh, shut up. Go ahead and shoot. I'll take that ten, Smokey. All right. I'll just watch close. That'll be enough. What the... Hey, don't put in, stranger. You're not shooting up this cafe again. Thanks, stranger. But you'd better be careful of these fellas. I'll handle them. Handle us, will you? Oh, mister, I'm shooting out that lamp there, and I wouldn't advise you to... Oh, my hand! You see that draw? Why, bless you, I'll give you... Oh, oh my hand smashed. You're not even scratched. All right, who's next? Well? Uh, we didn't come here looking for trouble, mister. Then get out. Oh, we were... Get out! Might as well, fellas. The stranger's got the drop on us. Come on, boys. Let's get out. But stranger, don't you cross our trail again. That's a warning you better heed. There won't be trouble unless you make it. Ah, stranger, that was a sight to see. If the sheriff could only handle them shooting irons like you can, this would be a plum peaceful place to live in. Ranger returning to camp told Tonto what had happened. Everything the sheriff told me was true, Tonto. I saw over a dozen known outlaws walking the streets of Buffalo Ridge. The place had become a hangout for the outlaws. Ah. And the fault lies with the Bar W outfit. Then what you do? The sheriff said he could bring in the Texas Rangers, Tonto. They tame these fellows in short order. Ah. But they aren't really criminals. They're men who demand action. They believe the fact their behavior is encouraged lawlessness does not concern them. That's right. It does, however. We're going to prove it. Call Scout, Hunter. Yes, Count. 
Where we go? We're making a trip to town together. Ready? Uh-huh. Get me ready. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scott. Hello, Silver. Away! The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. It was almost time for the sheriff to lock his office for the night. And the door suddenly opened and... Who is it? Oh. Ah, Redskin, huh? Well, Injun, what do you want? Make it quick, whatever it is, because I'm getting ready to turn in. You alone? Huh? Other fella here? Hey, what's the idea? What's it to you whether I'm alone or not? White friend wants to see you. And tell him to come in. He... Hey, what is this? You up to some trick? If you are, it's you might... no trick. Him alone. By Thunder Engine. Right, what? I didn't want to come in until I made sure no one was with you. I thought it better if you weren't seen talking with a masked man. It's you. It's the Lone Ranger. Right. But where in blazes have you been? I was beginning to figure you wasn't showing up. What kept you? I've been around for over a week. Uh-huh. I've been asking questions, looking over the situation before I got ready to act. In fact, Sheriff, I've spoken to you several times. To me? I'll be your loco. I was in disguise. But I'd recognize that voice of yours anywhere. You didn't, however. Well, I'll be switched. You remember when we met at the mission? Remember I told you I had a plan in mind? I sure do. From what I've seen, the plan will work. What is it? I told Tonto earlier this evening that I'd noticed over a dozen wanted outlaws in your town. And if I try to jail them, they just gang up on me. Your deputies quit. I ain't blaming them. Those outlaws aren't staying in Buffalo Ridge merely because it's safe. They're using your town as the base from which they tend to plan their operations. You ain't telling me a thing I don't know, stranger. But what in thunder can I do? There's been rustling, hold-ups, drunken brawls in which men have been killed. That's just a half of it. But in all this time, one group of men have been safe from the outlaws. Who do you mean? The men who run the Bar W. Sure, why not? Do you think these hoodlums hanging around here ain't got no sense at all? They know when to leave well enough alone. It's that Bar W outfit, like I told you before that made such a laughing stock of the law that it was safe for crooks to come here. They ain't going to spoil a good thing like that. And Sam and Smokey and the others on the Bar W don't take those outlaws seriously. Well, they ain't been harmed by That's them. That's just it. Huh? The Bar W has not been bothered by outlaws, although the rest of the county has suffered. I think I'm beginning to savvy what you're leading up to, mister. But I can tell you right now, you got it figured wrong. Have I? You think because the Bar W ain't been bothered, it proves they're in with them outlaws. There's little uses I got for them hombres. That ain't so. They're honest enough. It's just that they You like misunderstood to... me, Sheriff. I was accusing them of nothing. I had something else in mind. Yeah? Well, what? I was wondering just how long these outlaws would stay in the district if the Bar W got after them. I don't just see what If the Bar is. W lost cattle to the crooks that are making their headquarters here, do you think they'd let those crooks get away with it? <laughs> Not them fellows. They're poison. But I told you, them crooks have got too much sense to bother the Bar W. If you figure that just by letting them go along till they got enough rope to hang themselves... You think they... the outlaws won't bother the Bar W? I know they won't. You may be mistaken, Sheriff. And if you listen, I'll tell you why. Several days passed. At the Bar W Ranch, everything seemed quiet. But one night, Sam, Smokey, and some of their fellow hands lingered in the mess house after a hearty meal. Bud, who had been riding line, had not appeared for supper and... Hi, Sing Lee. Clear off this table. All right. Smokey. Yes, yeah, Sam? What's delaying Bud? What's he doing? Gosh, I don't know. Last I seen him, he was over by the south line. He was mending fence. He didn't say nothing about having extra work. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll be long when he gets hungry. I mean, that's just it. That hombre's always hungry. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, yeah. I think... I'll bet that's him now. Yeah, most likely. Oh, hi, 
Bud. 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 We thought maybe. Get saddled. Huh? What's the matter? Something happened? Something happened. We just lost 500 head of prime cattle. That's all that's happened. Oh, well, if you don't believe me, get saddled like I said. Ride down to the South Range and see for yourself. They're gone. Maybe they've drifted up the canyon. I looked there. If the fence was broke, it weren't. There's just one thing's happened. Them critters were stole. So Rustled, that's what. Couldn't be nothing else. And if they was rustled, them crooks that got them are heading for the border right this minute. Heading for the border, eh? Well, by thunder, they'll wish they hadn't. Fellas, come on. Yeah, we'll fix this junk. Get the rest of the boys together. Saddle up, meet in front. We're getting on the trail while it's fresh. Come on. the Bar W saddled their horses and rode to the South Range. There they soon found the trail of the herd and followed it at top speed. Get up, get up, get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Look down. Still heading south. If they ain't making for the Rio, then I'm afraid. That's what they're doing, all right. Huh? Making time, too. Them screw to them horses of yours. We don't catch them first, and them cows are gone for good. Get up there. Get up there. there. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. The country was flat and they could see for miles ahead of them, but still they caught no sight of the herd. Finally, the broad expanse of the river loomed before them. The boundary line had been reached, and the men drew rein on the northern bank. They beat us to it. Yeah, they, they got across sure enough. That sidewinder. Come on, what are we waiting for? Maybe the law can't cross the river to get them fellas, but we can. It ain't worth it. Huh? 500 head of cattle ain't worth following? That ain't what I meant. As soon as they get in them hills, there's breeds enough to join them to fight off a troop of soldiers. We wouldn't get nothing for our trouble but a hide full of lead. But what do we do? We can't just sit by and let crooks get away with something like this. It'd just be a standing invite for them to try again. I know what to do. Yeah? There ain't no market for them critters south of the border. Sooner or later, to sell them, they'll have to be brought back again. Yeah, but how the we... The thing to do is to tell the law and have the law keep watch. I suppose... And there's something else the law can do. What? Clean out that nest of crooks that's been hanging around Buffalo Ridge. They hadn't been allowed to stay. This would never have happened. Come on, fellas. Let's be getting back. The following day in the sheriff's office. Sorry, boys. Sorry for what? I want to tell you fellas something. You've lost cattle. Well, I ain't so sure I'm sorry about it. The fact is, it's your own fault and it serves you right. And there ain't nothing I can do about it. You can't go after crooks? The town's full of them. I'm all alone. How's one man to round up all them crooks at once? Get yourself some deputies. Yeah? Well, I had some till you fellas come along. Uh I said this was your fault and that's just what I meant. You made a joke of the law around here, and up till now, you just thought it was funny. Ah, uh, sure. Uh, nobody ever bothered you, so why should you worry? Well, what a... Sure, what a, I know just how you fellas figured things. Well, now you're finding out just what it means. You've lost your cattle, and I can't do nothing about it because you fixed it so as there ain't a man in town willing to fight on the law's side. Well, 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 you mean to say you can't hire no deputies? That's just what I mean to say. But if you had some, you'd clean up those crooks? I sure would. Then you got some. Where? Right here, me for one. Smokey, then. Sure. Bud, fire every last one of them. You willing to swear us in? Willing. If you gents are serious, just signify it and watch my speed. You'll give us authority to jail them skunks? I sure will. Then by gravy, we're with you. You swear us in. <laughs> men who had made life miserable for Sheriff Walters became his deputies, eager to enforce the law and revenge themselves on the lawless element of the town. The campaign began in whirlwind fashion within the cafe itself. Yes, against the sheriff's name, boys. Arrest that fellow. You there! Raise your hands pronto or start dodging lid. Wherever known outlaws hung out, the Bar W outfit struck. You're under arrest. That's right. On your feet and start marching. You can't jail me. Let go, let go. You ain't lawman. We weren't an hour ago, but we are now. And if you want to question it, just draw. What's got into the bar, W? Sheriff, deputize them. Biggest round up the town ever seen. They're cleaning out the crooks right and left. They got Bill Peters and the Carson gang and then I'm...
midst of the excitement, Smokey, standing in the center of Buffalo Ridge's Main Street, suddenly called to his friends. Sam, Bud, Hank, Ty, come here. Come on running. What's up? Look down the street. What you heard of that? Can you see their brand? Look and you can see for yourself. By heavens, Bar W. Boys, them critters belong to us. And there's a masked man with them. And a redskin. Look at them other fellas with the masked man. There's some more of the crook the sheriff told us to jail. Grab them fellas. Throw down on them. Get our cows back and jail them, Stone. Come on. Hi, lad. You there with the mask. Rain up. Hold back this turn. Make a move and you get it. Climb off that horse with your hands up. Where's the sheriff? It don't matter where the sheriff is. We're deputies, and there's such we've got authority to arrest you. When, son, did you get the crust to come right into town with them cows of ours you stole? I didn't steal them. Don't give us that. You, you just... don't believe me? Ask the sheriff. Here he comes now. Hey, sheriff, hustle up. We want you. What's the trouble, boys? Run into something you can't handle? This fellow's got the crust to ride right into town with our critters and claim he didn't steal them. <laughs> now, we... Well, he didn't. Huh? You crazy? Don't you think we know our own brand? Didn't we trail them critters right to the Rio? Why, now, now, wait, fellas, wait. Uh, maybe you're going to be awful mad. Perhaps you'd better let me explain. Uh, I'd heap rather you would. Sam, Smokey, Tyler, and I did take this herd. There, Sheriff, I told you so. But for a reason. Sure, to sell them and pocket the cash. No, to bring about exactly what happened. To wake up you men to the conditions in this county. I told the Sheriff if you could be aroused, you'd take steps on your own account. You behaved as I thought you would. Ah, that don't hold water. No? Them fellas with you. Them fellas helped you ride herd in these critters. They're known outlaws, and I can prove it. Of course they you can. You mean those three men there in front of Tonto? If that's the engine's handle. And look closer, and you'll see that Tonto's holding a gun on them. Oh, Where well, I'll be. How come? They thought Tonto and I were outlaws like themselves. It didn't take much persuasion to get them to help us borrow your herd. They found out later that we had no intention of stealing it. When they made the discovery, they put up a fight. But it was too late. <laughs> Jail them, boys. You bet we will. You can handle them, bud. Sure can. So all of this was just a put-up job to get us to help you, Sheriff. That's so. Well, doggone. It sure worked. We sure jailed the price of the crook. And that's the last of them. <laughs> you men have done a pretty good job. <laughs> <laughs> didn't do so bad as that, did we? Oh, that's the most fun I've had in the coon day. Yeah, me too. <laughs> well, gents, I'm thanking you. Now, I reckon as long as you've done what you set out to do, you'll be turning in your badges. Oh, like blazes, we will, champ. But why not? Just, we just got started. We kind of like being low men. Ain't that so, fellas? <laughs> you see, champ, from now on, me and my pods are on your side. And the first crook to stick his head in this here county gets it blasted off of him. <laughs> so the masked man was right. Right? <laughs> You're doing just like he said you'd do. And blamed if I ain't glad of it. Hello, Hello. have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.